Hello everyone, I am Sakshi Keshirwal and I am Maths expert in Ask IITN. So today we'll be starting with the first chapter of class 7, that is what integers, right? So we have studied, so every first chapter of every class is, is the like uh, revision of the last year class. So integers we have did in the last class and the sum of the part we did in the integers and the rest of the part we'll be doing this year. And uh, first there will be like... Uh, half an hour or maybe like first lecture will be totally or will be on the revision of it. So first we'll be doing the revision of the integers which we did in the last class and then we'll be learning the new part because in the last class of the integers we have learned about the uh, that uh, about the addition and subtraction only on the number line and without a number line this we have already done it right so here we will be going directly on ahead like first first today lectures will be totally on the uh, basically we'll be doing the revision yeah we'll be doing revision and maybe some part you will be learning on but here this class is going to be a totally of the revision so let's start with the class okay hold on we are on the integers, like right? knowing our numbers, knowing our numbers, that's integers. And you will be learning the second chapter. What will be your second chapter? Your second chapter is going to be what beta fraction and decimals, which you did in your class six. So first two chapters is going to be kind of a revision for your class six and a little bit of updation will be, you'll be learning over here, right? So uh, the what are the topics which you are going to learn today? We are going to learn today. That is the introduction, right? Introduction, addition, and subtraction properties and the properties of the multiplication, right? So this is what we are going to do today, right? So what are the integers? See, we have learned about why the integers were needed. Integers were needed because uh, right now you need to like, uh, like uh, when there is a coldness and a hotness or the profit or a loss, right? Deficit or uh, like uh, credit, right? So for these things, we need uh, integers, right? We need negative numbers to represent this self and the negative numbers lies on the what left hand side of this like zero, which we have already done it, right? So let us suppose if I say that uh, what should be added in two to get the answer zero, right? You can say that to minus two. This we have done in the last class, right? So basically any number which is less than zero and that are the negative numbers. So when you define a coldness, coldness has been generally defined as a negative temperature. That is negative two. Means if anyone is saying negative two means what the temperature is very, very cold. There's no need to say that it's going to be very cold. If somebody says negative two means you are, it's a very less temperature, right? If somebody say like a, a negative hundred of your like uh, salary or uh, negative hundred for whatever like your, transaction or whatever so it means what negative 100 indicates that you have withdrawn the money or you have deficit of the 100 rupees so it's like that there is no like you will it's automatically understandable right so what are the integers integers are basically that is a whole number from zero to z from zero to positive or a negative is called integers right so the first i'm talking about the negative numbers why the negative numbers right now when you are in the skies you say that you are in the like above 200 like 200 meters above the sea level but but you are in the when below the water in the submarine then you say that you are below uh like 200 meter below the sea so you say minus two and 200 right or when you go to the base like when you go to the basements or basement two basement three so you write B minus one, minus two, minus three. You have seen those things in your day to day life. So where there's integers come. So integers are basically the, all the positive numbers, all the negative numbers and the zero that is all sum up to word beta. That is sum up to word beta integers, right? That is the set of the integer which includes zero, positive natural numbers, negative natural numbers, and it is denoted by Z and Z is equals to word beta this, right? So can I say that one more thing over here? Can I say that uh, first part we learned that all natural numbers, can I say that this is a natural number, right? This is what a natural number, this we have done, right? Natural number n, right? Then you are going to add zero in it. So this will become what beta whole number, right? Or not, this will become a whole number. And when you're going to add negative numbers into it, so like minus one, minus three, dot, 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 minus three, minus two, minus one. And when you add the negative number into it, it will become what beta integers, right? So can I say, so can I say that all natural numbers, all natural numbers are whole numbers? Yes, it's true. Whole numbers, it's true, right? But can I say that all natural numbers are Integers, yes, all natural numbers are integers, yes, it's true. But if I write, if I write that all integers 
integers are whole number is it true all integers are whole number is it true or false it's false why because if we say that negative one negative one is not a whole number but negative one is what bit an integer so this is what bit of false right so these are the some examples and let's see what are we are going to represent that the integers on the number line right So we have seen that zero is like you have a zero and on the right hand side on the right this is for you this is left right so on the right hand side there is like positive numbers on the left hand side you have the negative numbers right and which has been been equidistant means what if you have a zero so if you're going one meter left then one meter right then one meter left who is standing one is standing then one meter left who is standing minus one is standing similarly if you go from zero to two meter on the right you will be getting what two right and then you go two meter on the left you will be getting what beta minus two so this is what we have studied zero is neither positive or negative this we have done in the right like in the last class right now let's coming to that is some fact about like addition and subtraction of integers on the number quick revision right so you see that if you are going to add a positive integer when you add a positive integer you move right right when you subtract a negative integers or you move what bit a left right or not this is this we have done in the last class so if i say that 6 plus 3 i'll take a highlighter and that will be easy to explain because i don't think so you need to write lots of you will just take this uh, big copy or whatever you feel like so if you want to add a positive integers we go right so if i say 6 plus 3 so 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 so first you will go on the 6 and then 3 step 1 2 3 step you will be reaching to 9 now if i say you are adding a positive integer adding a positive integer in the 6 and minus 6 so first you will be going on minus 6 and then minus 6 you will be going to the right so minus right you will be going right 1 2 3 steps you reach to what minus 3 this is your answer right now what happen if you're going to add a negative integers if you're going to add a negative integers it means what you have to move left yes or no so it says that minus 6 plus of minus 3 right so first you will be going what minus 6 and then three steps to the left so you reach to the what minus 9 if i say in the same question also if i say that is 6 plus of minus 3 right 6 plus you are adding a negative integer you're adding a negative integer so this is what your number line right so this is will be 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So first you will be going to here, right? First you will go to 6. Then you will be what? Adding a negative integer. So you will what? Move left. So you will be moving 1 step, then 2 step, and then 3 steps. So you will get your answer as what? Well, 3. That's it. We did this in the last class. And we did that if you want to add a two positive integers, we just add them, right? So what happened? Uh, <clears throat> See, if I say like 7 plus 5, so you just add that's 12. But when there is a one positive number and when there is a negative number, in fact, you are what subtracting. In fact, you are what subtracting. Uh, I think so. Wait, I'll tell you this later. Okay. So let's see this. Okay. Now, what is happening over here? Oh, I think so. There's some reduction. Okay. When you start, like when you are like subtracting a positive integer, right? Like subtracting a positive integer, like you're subtracting, subtracting positive, I'll write positive like this, positive integer, right? If you're subtracting positive integer, then what will happen, right? This is a topic. So if what happened in the addition, like this is like the thing we did in class six. Please remember when there's an addition of a negative number and positive number. If you're going to add a positive number, you move right. When there's an addition of a negative number, you move left. But this happened in the vice versa, right? When you're going to subtract a positive integer, then what you will be doing, you will be moving more beta. You will be moving left. Right, you will be moving what bit are left. So when you are going to subtract a positive integer, subtracting like addition of positive integer, you move right. But subtracting a positive integer, you will move what bit are move. You will what move left. You will what bit are move left. Right. So what happened? It says that minus four minus three is equals to how much? Right. So first you will be going to what? Minus four, right or not? Now it is it's subtracting a positive integer. So you will be going what beta left? You will be going what left? So start from here one, two, three. So where did you reach? You reached to minus seven. That is equals to what beta minus seven, right? If I give you one question like uh, four minus of five, right? If I give you such question like this, you're subtracting a positive integer. So what you will be doing? You will making a number line, right? So this is what zero, one, two, three, four, and five. 
and this is what minus one minus two. So you will start from where you'll be starting at four. Start right now. You are adding. You are subtracting a positive integer. When subtracting a positive integer, you will be moving what beta left, not right. So moving left five steps. So one, then two, then three, then four. And then five, you reach toward bit of negative one. That's it, also, right? Now, what happened when you're going to uh, subtract a negative number? Sub so adding a negative number, you will be moving what bit of left. But when you're subtracting a negative integer, you will be moving what right or not? You will be what moving right. So what happened here? The question says over here very clearly that minus eight. And minus of minus twelve, you're subtracting. So what happened first? You will start to minus eight. Now you will be moving right, yes or no? So write one, two, three, twelve step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you reach to what four or not? Yes. So end up here. So move twelve steps right as you move to the negative. So please keep it in the mind when you are adding, adding positive integer, move your right. When you are subtracting a positive integer, move left. When you are adding a, when you are adding a negative number, when you are adding negative number, move to your left, right? When you are subtracting a negative number, move to your right. It works on vice versa, right? So if I give you one question over here, like uh, I say that is six minus, and I'm just adding like minus four, like this, right? So what happened over here? You just see, right? So this is what your zero. This is one, two, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, what happened? You will be going on the six, right? You will be going on six. You are starting here, right? This is what you are starting, right? Now you are being like. Subtracting a negative integer, so you will be moving right, not left. So right, you will be moving one step, two step, three steps, and then four steps. So your answer is equals to what ten, right? Now one more thing I want to tell you, like over here, I think so. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really need to just add one slide over here.